Hey! Welcome to Cold Ones! My glasses are you broken! broken. I am your host! Glass. My glasses are broken! I'm the co-host, Max Mopo. This is the host, Anything for Views. Today, we're doing an episode with special guest Super Mega. I have Matt. glass. I have glass in my arms. Matt and Ryan. <laughs> my glasses are broken. <laughs> Some sponsors. <laughs> there will be some sponsors that suck. I hope you enjoy the content you're about to see. Sponsor for this episode is Cool Shirts. Use code uh, Cool Ones yeah, for ten percent off. That's shirts with a Z. Dot cool. We use code Cold Ones for ten percent off. Wait, Fred, stop over with Cold Ones. I'm in mean, my zone. Shut up, bro. I'm about to go in. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cold Ones. I'm your host, Anything for Views. Joining me today is my co-host. How are you going? Max Mofo here. And our guest today, very special guest, very highly anticipated guest. A lot of requests for these guys. Um, these guys are... <laughs> They make let's plays. They have a yeah. We make no, let's just plays. Stop just stop there. That's, that's all. all we do. They make let's a, players. They make a magnificent podcast and they make amazing content. But most importantly, we make let's plays. That's, honestly, I want that on my gravestone. I like. I want to only be known for that. It's so, it's super mega. They're fucking yeah. oof, man. No, beep that, bro. We can't use that word. Susan will give us the yellow dollar sign, man. Anyway, thanks for coming over. Thanks for coming to Australia. Welcome, boys. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. We uh, we flew 17 hours to come sit down at this table and do this podcast. Also, I, I, our names. I'm Matt. This is... Oh, yeah. Matt and Ryan. Whew. I forgot I had to give them separate names. Yeah. Matt and Ryan. Peter. Thank you for coming, man. It's been a great se six days. Yeah. We, went, we went camping recently. That was sweet. We got a lot of footage of that. We got, that the, we got there at nighttime. Most of it was not camping. Most of it was trying to find a campsite. And repairing a car. Well, you know, what's that, <laughs> say, what's that saying? The, the, the adventure is, is the, the, journey. the journey. The destination's the whole yeah. Listen, man, there was a few hiccups in the road, but now we're there. A few hiccups. Let's talk yeah. about those hiccups, what right? was the What would you say would be the first hiccup? Bro, I meant to be interviewing you, man. You tell me what the hiccups were, bro. Well, I just Why wanted... are you talking like that? Because it's like the <laughs> fun <laughs> character. <laughs> The, fir the first hiccup I would say would when was when we were pulling in. We just got the van uh, that we rented. It's a beautiful van. We got you got it. It looked like oh. bro. Um, how many bro. vans do you see like that? It's very original. Wait, it's authentic. I, I think before that hiccup, the big one was when he was swerving on purpose without a license. Before that, even I. Uh, <laughs> You're thinking when we're on the lot and we're picking it up. We're, we're picking we're picking up this van. Well, how racist was the guy giving it to us? Yeah, what was up with that? The dude was like, yeah, you know, the guys last time didn't clean it out. Mexicans. There's, yeah, there's no fuel in it. Mexicans. I'm like, it's like we're what? in Australia. We don't have Mexicans. He, he was trying know. to relate to her, like American sensibility. Just, That's what it was. Yeah, you see, like, he like, looked up for like it. a look of approval, too. He's like, Mexicans. <laughs> see, yeah, like, if I we thought, agreed. I, when I, I was sitting on the couch and I thought I heard it like that, then I was like, is, did he actually say that? And no one else said anything until we're back here. I was just kind of quiet. And then you guys were like, like, man. Well, because yeah. I feel like that's not very normal. That's not no, that, you that's, that's, into. that's why it confused me because I'm like, you don't have Mexicans in Australia, so I don't really know what kind of stereotype you're aiming for. Or are you just being racist? He had such disdain in his voice, like, Mexicans with an Australian accent. But basically, but at least he has someone else to hate more now, Americans. Absolutely, and, and and the reasoning for that is because I didn't know you guys couldn't drive. Okay, so I can drive. No, you can't. No, you can't, Chad. You legally cannot and, and drive. And we'll get to that in a minute. Law. What happens is <laughs> Chad's like, hey, can I borrow your license uh, to rent this van? And I'm like, maybe it's like a just like a backup thing. Sure, so I give him my California driver's license, and then I get there, and I am the one that has to I give him my license and my credit card and stuff, and then I realize, like, oh, he thinks that I am the one driving, so I have to drive off the lot, so... I've never driven, Australia drives on the left, we drive on the right, so I have to get in this van, this, this left-sided van, and drive it out of the lot down the street. And that was terrifying for me. I've never done that before. So we take it down the street and I pull over and I was like, all right, I can't do this. Chad, you're gonna drive. Chad apparently only has his L's, right? But I've driven illegally heaps of times, man. Oh, that, that, made, that made me feel a lot better well, when he said uh, that. Our point is that you're doing it illegally. So yes. Oh, was my driving okay? 
No, no. you swerved on purpose multiple times. But did we crash when I swerved? But you did crash into something. But he did it too, so it's fine. No, no, no. <laughs> Scott was trying to fix your mistake. Common, listen. Common mistake when coming. Okay, just continue the story, bro. Just continue. What happened after common that? Common mistake. No, let's, <laughs> let's hear about the, the mistake. The, the common mistake. We'll get, we'll get there. So it's me, Max, Ryan. Uh, we're, we're, we're the three of us in the back seat. We got, we got Chad and Zuckles up in the front seat and Chad's driving. He's goofing off. He's being a goofster. He's purposely swerving without a license too. So, which is not a funny gag to play under any circumstance. In my opinion, I was, while you're in a car, not just a car, a van that's top heavy, like so top heavy to where there's a platform purposely built so people can get on top of it and have fun. There's like railings we, and shit. We would turn even normal turns. We could feel like center of mass just like it felt like it was like the top felt like it was made out of cheap plastic too because you could like hit it and see it like jiggling so chad's like uh, 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 like doing these little jerks and we would all be like chad stop it that's not funny and the whole time max is looking at us he's like i'm, I'm just bracing for impact like it's gonna happen terrifying experience but basically we just had to take very simple task the van from the pickup lot to uh the the, the office it's a 20 minute drive right. put a nice little graphic of that Put a map on that. So we have to get from the van rental place to the office to pick up pick up Scott over here. Very easy. You know what? We get to the office. Everything went great. You know what? Chad did not crash the van. So we, we got to pull in to the office. And uh, Okay, this is where I intervene. The corner on the office is <laughs> fucked. Like turning, unless you're turning in in some two-door electric car that's the size of my car. So you had prior knowledge small of this car, yeah. before turning uh, in this I huge van. I had prior knowledge, but I thought I'd be a cocky person. Like, watch this, bro. I'll turn it. No problem. You're hoping you and just- And Scott, just to confirm- That's exactly the situation just to confirm, I see this happening is, on the This has happened before I did it, right? With the delivery vans. The delivery vans have scraped the side of this door coming in heaps of times. So you thought at least you, or at most you'd scratch it. I thought I nailed it, to be honest, and then you did. Oh, you nailed you it. You nailed it really well. You kept well. going nailed right it. through. Someone got nailed. I look out the side window as he's swinging this turn, and I just see this <laughs> massive eight-foot-tall brick pillar approaching the window <laughs> at, at incredible speeds. And, and I, my brain had like half a second to process. I'm like, uh, I couldn't even say anything. It hits the side of the van. The window shatters into a million fucking pieces. And Chad's going, oh, oh. And Ryan's like, stop, stop. And it, the, the brick just the side of the van, shatters the window, dints it. it is, he was sitting next to the window. Yeah, right, right, did you jumped. see my face? You, you I, were scared. I have, yeah, I have footage of your head next to it, I think. Obviously, none of us got it on camera when oh, it actually yeah. exploded. You should, you should put this clip in because it's great because you can see the van about to pull in and it's like moments before a massive disaster. And then you see Scott suddenly start running down the steps because he's he's he realizes like, shit, I need to tell him not to swing in on that turn because he's gonna scrape up the van. Yeah, leave the van outside the fucking And we, we have footage of right afterwards before we had parked and the window had just shattered. Cause it's that type of glass that's designed to- <clears throat> If it gets a crack, the whole thing it, shatters. It, it like shatters into a million little pieces and stays like that. And you cut your hand trying to, Chad's like, oh, we'll just tape it up and still go camping. Well, he was like poking at it and running his finger through the broken glass. I was like, glass. it's fine, man. Just buff it out, bro. Yeah, there was a lot of hiccups on that road. But, but, it but was, you saved the day. It was fun. By calling up a We mechanic. I found a window repair place, and it was a 2007 van. So it was, I called three places. One place said we had the window. They fixed it. it. took them 20 minutes to fix it. We did our shopping. Those guys did a good job. It was very quick. There was scratches down the side of the car, car which... Is fine. Because you know, it, it, it's it will. It wasn't anything like a hand painted van with unique art on the side, so the scratches weren't really a big deal. It was spray painted on by some hippie, bro. <laughs> it looked like shit. <laughs> I did him a favor by scratching up the van. Full disclosure, I fixed the window. I when I drove it back into the lot because we returned it after hours because they said we could. I returned it without a license. I told the police. That's awesome, dude. You need to get like your full license. I'm done. Chad, how old you are you? Start putting out all I'm these. Chad, I got my license internet. when I was 15. Suck my cock and balls. I returned the I returned the van. I told him what happened. He said, "Hey, you've replaced the window. It's fine. I've gotten vans in worse condition. They said they're only going to charge my card, so they put, I had to go put my card down before I left. They're going to retint the window, which was he said would cost a hundred bucks after the three hundred dollar window replacement. And he said something about the paint job, like, "Oh, uh, whenever the vans go through this certain town, is one of the guys that spray paints them." So he says, "Whenever the vans go through, they re-spray paint them with either different stuff or they touch them up." So he said that won't cost you any money. 
and hit, and when the guy also when the guys put in the new window, they also buffed out all the dents from where I came in. So the guy didn't even notice it was meant to be like dents in the car. But that wasn't also that wasn't the only hiccup that occurred though. What else happened? What do you mean? Uh, what else happened? There are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are you forgetting the part where we showed up to the campsite with the gates closed and it's saying that Listen, we cannot go inside? I could not have uh, predicted wait a minute. that. And how long did we drive for? We drove for about, I'd say, w the whole journey took about around two hours. Two to three hours, yeah. yeah. And it was dark at this point because we were supposed to get to the campsite uh, on the coast and, and have a, a, a great time and have all day filming. See the kangaroos when the, the kangaroos, sun was setting. See the sunset. No, now it's dark. We're driving through the woods. And it's oh, hours not just later. woods, bro. We're driving up windy hills, and like you look off to the side, and you can see a do like drop where the, the cliff drops off. And Scott was driving. Scott's ass was flying. Scott was just speed racing that shit. You did good though. You did very. You yeah. did better than Chad. <laughs> well, hang on. Can we just also mention when we did leave the office again with Scott driving, he did the exact same thing that I did. Well, no, he was trying to. What do you mean he was trying to? What he still hit the Scott, side. You've got access I, to a mic, bro. The difference is that you did it recklessly, where he was. He was trying. Just tr he was trying to because you shouldn't have even pulled it in in the first place. I don't think it was even good enough to. All right, let's just see what he says, bro. Chad's a fucking. Run. Listen, bro. Hiccup in the road. I did, uh, maybe I did it on purpose Chad, for also, content. I heard Chad say it's just a hiccup in the road probably 50 fucking times that day. I was ready to. Yeah, I feel like there's a list of ones that I've already like, you know, we've got the main ones. I think that a lot of little things happen that you fucked up. A, a lot. So we, we get there. Finally, oh, like it's trying dark. to burn a whole log and say that it was going to make fire. Oh, That's yeah, man. Yeah. Fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I made, about the, the, fucking I made fire the fire. Saga. You maintained it. I was like the father. Oh, no, Chad, Chad, the Chad, Chad, Chad. Ryan's over Ryan here with level 99 fire making level. I was gathering <laughs> sticks all night, bro. You did gather a lot of sticks. I will say you that did. you did help out. Main, you did help maintain After the fire. After I started with drinking, I was like, "Bro, I'm letting that fire burn out. I'm not doing it." But so you let's just over. call it what it is. You're the stick collector, bro. There's nothing to be ashamed of about that. There's hunters and guys. Every just, tribe needs just, one. He just has more skill with the actual fire making. Listen, he put in the extra effort. Okay? Let, no, if, and if, I thank him for that. It was a team effort, bro. We went. Uh, he didn't together. just put in effort. He spent the rest of the night maintaining it for everyone else. <laughs> I gotta say, Ryan, that that meant so much. We're we're all sitting by the fire, just being drunk and stupid. And Ryan's out here with a little flashlight on his head, running into the the Australian bush to, to grab to grab sticks. I was and just... getting the sticks, bro. It Chad, was like, we it was all like took like, turns um... to get sticks at some point. But who brought back the big loads? This Ryan. Guy. Well, Ryan kept the fire going. Chad, you were the one that was like. Bro, we need to just put big logs on the fire. And Ryan was like, no, we need to build it this right, specific way. My theory was <laughs> the, wait, the wait, Amazon wait. forest burns, the bigger the burn, the longer the burn. That's not how that shit works, dude. You set you set like one log on fire, then just put a bigger log on top of it and just said, watch, it'll burn. And then it started going out to when it was almost pitch black. And you're like, no, just give it 10 more minutes. Like, give it it'll, 10 start, minutes. it'll start to burn a lot Listen, bigger. I got the fire going. That's all that matters. And, and then Ryan's like, so you see all this white smoke? That's because it's going out. And Chad's like, no, nah, bro, give it, give it 10 minutes. You try to say that that was all part of the plan. Like you're supposed to burn it until it stops. It was part of my plan. Minutes, <laughs> He's and like, then it will, it'll reignite. And it did not reignite. So then Ryan, Ryan's ass gets up in there and he gets, he, he runs to the woods. He gets all these sticks. And Listen, he, all he I'm hearing the, is discrediting in my end. Anyway, who rented the we'll van? We'll see all that. We'll see I all rented that the van. Vlog. It was my license but and my paid credit card. For it, we'll man. see all this in who both found vlogs. It? Who also? Who this also, isn't a vlog, fuck camp car. It's a recap. Who else cooked all night? Who? Okay, Chad cooked some good I kangaroo and shit. I did some effort, bro. While you, you while you two sat around listen, with man, drinks in your hands, going, you cooked a big a bucket beater. of beans. <laughs> you cooked a, a big beater. vat of beans. This episode of the podcast was sponsored by my boys over at Raycon. They hooked me up with a pair of wireless earbuds before heading out here to LA. They're fucking great. I love them. I've been using them on my entire trip. We've been hiking with them as well. Roll that clip of me hiking with them. It was fun. That sucks. I'm in hell. I love my Raycon earbuds. They're great. Am I Chad did yelling a bit. Oh, sorry. They're noise canceling. And they have great bass. They fit in my ear great. They don't fall out. And they come at half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market at the moment. They're fucking sweet. They're all co-founded by this guy, Ray J. He's a real, he's a real nigga. You definitely can't put that in. The latest model is the best yet. They come with six hours of battery life and a travel case if you ever need to recharge them. They pair easily with Bluetooth and they have heavy bass and perfect noise cancellation for all your traveling needs. 
So if you do want to support this episode of Cold Ones, head over to buyraycon.com forward slash cold ones and they've offered viewers of the podcast a 15% discount. So if you're in the market for a new pair of wireless earbuds, buyraycon.com forward slash cold ones, 15% off. Let's kill him. Make it going. It was fun, but we had we had a fun time camping. We did, we yeah. did. Uh, we got to see a kangaroo. That's all I wanted. It just from the we, Australia trip. Was it a kangaroo yeah. or a wallaby or what? It was a kangaroo. A kangaroo. We saw yeah. it very briefly. Yeah. It was like on the front well, my, front my, of the alarm, van. my alarm. I fell asleep on the roof of the van. The alarm went off in the morning at five thirty, which was just sunrise, and I wanted <laughs> to wake you guys, but because I was so hungover on the top of this van and asleep, I was like, yeah, let him sleep. I gotta tell you, dude, being inside that van. And hearing you up on top, I was a little bit nervous. We all were. It was you could just hear this like this shitty metal creaking. It's like, oh, that's that's Chad getting on top to take it. Like you were up there with your sleeping bag, and it was. <laughs> and you feel, I, I feel like like I could feel the air pressure changing from like the I, compression. I felt like I was in the early two thousands with like a poor like a like a fat joke and poor taste where like they make things creak like extra. <laughs> like, I was like, this is like, like a, you could see it like bend a little. Well, why like, didn't you too? just let me sleep in the van with you guys? Cause you snort, you like, they didn't let you. I never said anything about dude, it. Okay. The, the first night I'm in Australia, uh, I no, cut it off, bro. Not enough <laughs> about me, man. Well, we we're supposed to get an exile tent, like to put you in like <laughs> isolation tent. But this isn't a podcast was... about me. This is about the guests. Stop fucking hammering me, man. <laughs> Chad, I'm sorry. Give me, give me, give me a cheers. Why do the beer boys get them? What do you he think? Might. What do you think of VB? That's your first VB. What do you think? Ew, dude. I, I it can, tastes like dog food. Like, I can only tolerate it if it's like ice cold. Come on, that's Australian culture, bro. Dude, okay, I've had Fosters, and I and Fosters, yeah! isn't, Fosters isn't Australian. Fosters. It's British. What do you mean? I, every commercial I've ever seen for Fosters on YouTube, it's Australian. It's, it's dude, British. Like, British people love it, man. It's British. Dude, it's disgusting. I bought one in America, and I was like, let's try some Fosters. And me and my roommates cracked it, and it was fucking. Ross wouldn't even drink it. Like it was well, disgusting. Ross Fo probably filled you in. Truly, he was like, yeah, Foster. No, dude, it's gross. It's okay, fun. This example. tastes like dry dog food. Like if I if I ground up dry dog food mixed with water, you gotta finish it, bro. They give me the worst me, hangovers. Me we'll have a little sip. Ryan doesn't even like beer, so here. Ready? Oh, he's going to hate this. Oh, you're going to be... That's... Oh, that's oh part of him just died. Why yeah. do I, wait, it's warm too, is it? Yeah, it's warm that's too. That's straight dodo juice. <laughs> the first time I ever played uh, Edward Forty Hands was uh, it was New Year's Eve uh, 20, 2018. This is my first Edward Forty Hand. Uh, basically, well, the way I played it was... And you know, I have a light body weight. I couldn't do two forties, but I had both hands taped to a forty. And like, you can't do anything until you finish the forty. So it was a uh, 2017 becoming 2018, and I just uh, I, I downed it. And then I somehow had another afterwards. And uh, I woke up. I started 2018 very poorly because I woke up that morning on the couch with just the worst hangover. I wouldn't recommend it. And here I am now doing it again with oh, the this, with this literally be, probably the worst. This beer. could be the top three, I reckon. This is By disgusting. the time we're done. I hangovers? Still have, I still have never oh, had yeah. a hangover. He's never had tonight, a hangover. Tonight, bro. Tonight is the night. I don't know. I want him to have pretty rough nights, especially in Japan. If we're talking about nights in Japan, you you saw me in my worst. You you came and woke me up and then ran to the restroom to barf for like five minutes, and then Jackson almost threw up on you. Harrison did. I was I was by the toilet downstairs in our Airbnb. It was a two-story Airbnb, and I we'd had a lot to drink that night. So we went to this... Uh, Izakaya and got really really drunk, but Ryan went home to read Harry Potter. Uh, what a fuck! What? <laughs> That's I not want a say, Chad, I, don't, I don't want you judging my friend. Okay? Same thing. Human are you, beings are, are you do judging ever? me? I'm, I'm judging, judging him, dude. What you, listen, I'm I, I never read the books. I only saw the movies. I wanted to. So you read saw the first book then? You the first, the first book. book? I, I had the book at the <laughs> bar. Even we we had this. <laughs> oh my god! No, he was. You were reading it in the bar. We're all drinking, and you're just biting. But my favorite thing about this was That's that a world's first, surely. We, we flew like what 12 hours to Japan and you didn't crack the book the whole time you're on the flight But then the second we touched down get on the train you like opened it up What are we doing on the flight then? Watching movies masturbating. and sleeping uh, I did masturbate On the flight? Once I've jerked In the off. toilet? I've jerked off oh, Masturbated the on the flight? Yeah Dude, jerking, oh, off, face, jerking, it, jerking, off on, jerking off on a flight is very satisfying. When, uh, when That's the, joining the Mile High yeah, Club you just with get yourself. Out and you're like, guess what I just did? Well, you can smell it, man, because they're so small. What are you talking what? about? You, you can, can smell your cum. What does your cum it, smell like, Chad? It is smells it's... like chlorine. It smells like those flowers outside, the cum flowers. Cum flowers? 
some law that uh, some girl that we met said like these flowers smell like they cum. did smell like cum. I smelled one day. One smelled like cum. The girl that I was munging on with. with munging cat, on with. When I was, I jerked off on a plane to Celestia Vegas sex tape because when I was boarding it came out. The one that came out. And it got taken down off Pornhub because of reports, but someone had a download link, so I downloaded but it. Was it wasn't it like she, it was made for Pornhub? Oh yeah, but it got reported, mass reported, so it got taken down just because of trolls. Reported for what? Just I don't know. It just got reported. So I got taken down off Pornhub. So I, I found a download link of some person that got it before it got taken down. I joked off the Celestia Vega one on the plane. What'd you jerk off to on the plane? Probably. Mm. I, was, I just remember having like trouble with the Wi Fi. So I couldn't load it. Plane Wi Fi is the worst. Like I, I can't even get text messages. So I imagine like trying to like stream pornography on an airplane. Some just... subreddit, probably. Before, before, before we okay. continue this high class conversation, can you guys tell us who you are? <laughs> and <laughs> what oh, you do? After talking about jerking off on an airplane, fuck is shit. a super mega? <laughs> What's a super mega? <laughs> okay. I, just, I just know that obviously there's going to be people that. Watch it. Obviously, obviously. Like, yeah, you know, oh, we're, not, we're not popular enough. You're too small, listen, bro. bro this you're is a small, listen, man. You're a small fish in a almost big pond. a million subscribers. Hey, we got more, bro. <laughs> you anyway, have, you, you this have isn't a, this isn't professional podcast. No, 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 Chad's acting like we're tiny. He has 20,000 more subs than us. The time I don't think you this. guys are tiny. You guys are the most requested people on the show. Are we no, really? we're not. You Actually, no there. meme. No meme. The most requested? Most requested. Definitely, bro. You're welcome. Because well, you both, I, I find it interesting because you both have solo paths that I've now met, you know, and now you're doing well together. Max YouTube. is just trying to act YouTube? professional, bro. Chad, Chad you're acting like a. Fuck off! <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Fuck off, Notch, bro. I mean. <laughs> I'm making Minecraft too, bro! <laughs> Alright. What are you making that, bro? With, what's the what's the gimmick again? It's made out of spheres instead of cubes. It's a concept, bro, at the moment, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> how do you how do you do the building? Or like how do you do the stacking of cubes? I mean spheres. Oh, spheres. <laughs> Listen, bro. I've, I'm in phase one of the development. It's okay, coming. okay. It's a gravitational okay. pull situation. While 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 you while you guys <laughs> talk about what <laughs> while you guys talk about what super mega is, can I go piss? Because this isn't Come important on, at all. Yeah, go ahead. I already like, know, like, bro. You pissed oh. literally ten minutes ago. I was with you. Why, why how you many guys times do you pissed during the podcast? A lot, bro. Oh, while you guys describe the entire being of your existence, <laughs> this is when I should take a bathroom <laughs> break. My fault. Sorry, I just want to say my phone is buzzing and I can't turn it off. Ah, <laughs> uh, but wait, let's let's talk about Super Mega, right? One at a time. Okay. Where you started from? From why you and why did you get into YouTube? Matt, Gosh, Matt Matt has a footprint that lasts longer than mine on YouTube, so I figure I'd just let him start. Okay, let's rewind things back to like 2007. Okay, I was a wee fifth grader and I was like, you know, YouTube is a thing. I want to make YouTube videos. Smosh and Fred. Mm. When was YouTube made? 2006? 2006, yeah. So so I, I jumped in a year later and I was like, this is sick. Uh, and I started making YouTube videos and uh, I, I wanted to be a big famous YouTuber. So I started making YouTube videos back in 2007, 2008, 2009. You don't need to say the name. <laughs> That's what I was afraid to say. <laughs> Can I bring up an old video that you linked us about... Shane Dawson. Hey, Shane Dawson. Well, I, I'm sorry ahead. your grandma's dead, My, my bro. favorite part about the whole video is like, I've been through this like five to di five different times. And I'm like, yeah, your right. five grandmothers died. No, my grandma died five times. <laughs> she came uh, back. Roll though. that clip, Scott. Please roll Scott, that clip. Scott. Hey, Shane Dawson. Uh, I'm really sorry about your grandma. I mean, she's still hanging on, but I know it must be really hard right now. Um, I had to deal with so many people with the exact same thing. That's the same thing's happened to me like five times with so many important people to me. And I know that when she does pass on, I know that she'll go and she'll be with Jesus. And I know that everything you've done really means a lot to her and she really loves you. And um, yeah. This was when the reply things were popular? Yeah, or this like was when the video reply, video when replies. Reply videos so you were could still reply big. to, uh, this is the ones that if you made a reply video, you could elect it to actually go underneath. Yes, yeah, it's like yes. re colon and then. Yeah. So and it, then they accepted it and it appeared there. It was called re grandma part one. And I'm, I'm sitting there with my, my long middle school hair. I have my silly bands on my wrist. And you I look like, you look like malnourished Justin Bieber. 
I mean, I still look malnourished, just not the Justin Bieber. Yeah, part. you look better. You've ugly. definitely grown up, but yeah. Uh, but I, but I, I, I'm just basically I say, hey, Shane Dawson. Uh, I'm so sorry about what happened. No, he to your looks grandma. like Shane Dawson. That's what Shane Dawson used to look like. With that oh, hair. the big fringe. But he was fat though. Because he was such then. a big fan. That's what I'm thinking. Did now, you grow your hair to be like Shane Dawson? No, it was actually. You were also making your voice deeper. I purpose. was in that video. You can hear me like, hey, Shane Dawson. So I hadn't fully hit puberty yet because I was a late bloomer. <laughs> <laughs> if if you want to know what I was making my hair after, I was at Anthony Padilla from Smosh. I was like, uh, I was no, like, I, I want to look like Anthony. Oh, cheers to Anthony, bro. <laughs> bro. Sorry, I'm, I'm taking too long for this. I made a YouTube channel. It didn't pan out. And then when I uh, was in college, uh, I, uh, I started doing more YouTube videos for fun. And then uh, I met Ryan and our friend Daniel. And then we started talking when I flew out to California. And we started making some videos together. Uh, and then I met uh, the glorious Markiplier, and he hired me to be his editor. Uh, Can I do a Markiplier impression if that's okay? <laughs> you don't have to ask. I'm not, I'm not the gatekeeper. You can I don't ahead. know, bro. You're his mate. Hey. hey. <laughs> 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 Matt. Uh, yeah, Mark? <laughs> I'm going to need you to finish editing that video for me by 9 a.m. Bring me a bucket of cream. <laughs> <laughs> I need it for my bones. <laughs> I have red hair. I need a pair. Of <laughs> he would always say that. He would always come in my room at night and go, uh, red hair. Matt. <laughs> Matt, that was Matt's fucking sleep paralysis demon. He'd come in, he'd come in swing off the door, and go, red and hair. And then Mark would be like, Mark would be like, Matt, red hair. <laughs> I know, Mark, I know. Yeah, it's good. It's good right here. Uh, yeah. I meet these very fine young men, Ryan McGee and Daniel Kyer. We become very good friends. How'd you meet? Well, he Facebook. Was, you were more of Daniel's friend. Yeah. Because I never responded to your Facebook messages because all you would do is send me stuff like, uh, you would you would Photoshop my grandmother in like porn ads, and I didn't even <laughs> and I didn't know him that much at this point. So I was just like, okay. I'd find a picture of like him and his stepdad together and put it into one of those porn ads where it's like my stepdad fucked me, and now I'm gay. That's how you like. Broke That's the how I tried ice, to break the ice. Yeah. So I flew to California to come make some videos, uh, and lo and behold, we did become best friends, uh, uh, and then we made videos like Blonde Boys and shit. Uh, but through that process. He, him and Daniel lived in LA because they were working for Mark at the time, and through that I met Mark. That was and then before, yeah. Mark was like, "I need editor," uh, and then he he cradled me in his big <laughs> muscular arms, kissed me on the forehead, and I became his editor. Hey I, man, I, did I, got, I got a little Mark question for you. Live with him? Yeah, we did. Why is this man yeah. so fried? Did you see his cock? Never saw his penis. No. Anyway, sorry, uh, I keep interrupting. I'm a horrible stop. host. I suck at this game, man. Like, this game. Ian will replace me when I die. Keep going. Uh, we worked for Mark for a while. Um, our friend Daniel, very unfortunately and tragically, passed away. Uh, and then after some time from coming back from that, we decided, like, let's start something new. Uh, so we, Ryan and I together started Super Mega. You had kids with problems at this point? So we had Syndigo, uh, or but, but Daniel and Ryan had Syndigo. So Syndigo started, was your, your yeah. and Daniel's so, channel. Did you start it together? Yes, so I'll, I guess I'll tell that shit and then we'll come back yeah, up to that. Fuse, fuse. Um, so Daniel and I knew each other since high school and we were originally good at Syndigo originally was going to be us going to churches and making like promotional videos for them because we thought it would be easy targets. That's what you do in South Carolina. <laughs> That's when you, when horrible. You, what no, the fuck? in South Carolina, if you want to make money off film, you're like, I guess we can make church videos. I made church like videos. Like we'd go really? and make commercials for the church. Like I made videos for my church and stuff. I did too. Well, actually, still out there. weird law. That sounds um, like such a specific thing. It's and the you South. both had done that. It's the South, yeah. Not South Carolina. Related to each other? Well, Not weird, related. Weird, weird, so weird law. Uh, another one of our guests, Chadley, has also said like a similar thing. Not towards churches, but he was like, he did video stuff and wedding, editing. Wedding videos? And he was like, I did wedding, weddings too. He was, yeah, he was like, like wedding my sister's videos. wedding. So that's where the money is. I did cooking. Like, I did. I worked for this lady who did like cook healthy cooking videos for kids. So I like made like a documentary for her and a bunch of shit. I, uh, I did, I filmed uh, wedding Ouch. videos. I, I filmed my sister's wedding video too. Uh, Brag about it, why don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I only I only have one thing kept from that time period, and it's uh, my youth leader got this friend of his to make youth a leader. to make a productions intro for me, and it's me with a lightsaber making uh, striking a Z into the screen because it was Hazard <laughs> Productions. <laughs>
the story behind this is is like what you were home alone and your youth leader was like Ryan, let's make a. I have a friend with a camera. Let's make a video. Yeah. So your youth leader from church came up, and you and you asked your parents, and they were okay. You're like, yeah, you know, the youth leader and his friend with a camera yeah, a can come Jesus, over. Bro. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, he'll be fine. Any friend of a Jesus, you gotta trust Jesus the people in the church. The you do. I trust that. I trust everyone. Even though in the church. one of our leaders turned out to be a pedophile. Dude, and that's so common in church porn. situations. Really? Can you tell the story? He looked, about, like, he looked like one. No, too. he really did. Molested by uh, no, no. Should I? Should I just yeah. uh, continue the? No, 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 give us a little. Just give us the talk about the story of the, the pedophile. Shit. I'm ready Shit. for the pedophile law. I'm interested. Okay, I, tell, okay, the, okay, tell okay. the pedophile okay. story. I, 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 went, I went to a very heavily Catholic <laughs> school, so, and it was the same meme. One per, one of the teachers turned out to be a pedophile, so I'm interested. Nice. So there's this guy. Let's nickname him Baxter. Bo ba Baxter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he he was a big 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 fat man with a mustache and had a lot of boils on his face. Oh. And, um, <laughs> I know, right? Ew. Like, like, he kind of looked like Chad a little bit. You yeah. Know? yeah. I, can, I can go find his. Uh, Take that. Ah, it's hard for me to find it. No, bro, Ryan, why would you put that on me, bro? What's going on? It looked like Chad. Ryan shows. <laughs> Ryan shows. What's wrong with you, bro? You look he like said he, that, didn't he? I no, didn't he say said that. That was Yuri. Like that was Yuri. Like Yuri said that. No, you look like a skeleton, man. I'm afraid. I'm honestly. It looks like I'm honestly. I'm afraid. I'm afraid, like I'm afraid to crack levels. a window in here, bro, because the air will suck you out. That's a so sick thin. tweet I read last week, dude. That's very funny. No, but basically, was it? Oh yeah, Ryan showed me a picture of this guy once. He looks like and your I, typical. And I was like, how did nobody see that one coming? Like, so, like if you could imagine like a pedophile in your head, like a cartoon caricature of a pedophile, it's exactly what that was. Like someone that having a cartoon as <laughs> yeah. stereotype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, one day Baxter didn't show up and they had to sit us down and tell us that Baxter uh, was arrested for child <sighs> pornography. How, how old were you at the time of this? I must have been in... Um, Middle school, so seventh or eighth grade, 12, 13, yeah. around then, probably. Yeah. How and do we explain did that? They, did you understand the concept of what was being told to you? Yeah, I mean, it's porn, but with children. <laughs> <laughs> See, when when we had pretty, a pretty easy concept to understand. <laughs> when we when we, when we had a pedophile at their school, they just said, "Oh, they retired." And then, like three or four years That's later, how they protect him, bro. And then, like three or four years later, my mom said, "Like, oh yeah, he was a pedophile." I'm like, I don't get why they protect oh. these people. They're like sick, so it's like. I, I, guess, I guess it's like the idea of like you can't really gauge to a child or like someone that's brain mm -hmm. so fully developed. Like, there are people well, in their thirties that jerk off to kids naked. They don't just jerk off to them; they molest them. They do bad things. So uh, after they told us, we we were all we all felt bad for him because we didn't really comprehend the gravity of the like what was going on because we're like because we're kids and we're like he just thought we were cute or something yeah, he just liked us <laughs> you said he gave good hugs i, I, I wish you would have said oh, something no that's <laughs> fucked <laughs> no those, those hugs no i didn't like hugging now. him i was always kind of kind of creeped out by him but didn't you say he loved hugging people he he, he, he was always kind of like Known as the sweet guy, and the kids would give him hugs and shit. Oh, he that's always, so, yeah. I feel sick. And he would, sick. Come, he would, he would come on youth retreats with us to where we would, oh. would just be kids and like three adults, and we'd go out into like the mountains and like stay in this cabin and shit. But uh, he was we, definitely we, fucking kids on these oh. retreats. Not me, thankfully. <laughs> um, yeah, thank God. So, like he the uh, thank God. so we ended up all writing him. Like we miss you, letters. You're all riding him. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> we're all whoa, 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 we're on the mountain. We ended up all riding him. We all ended up riding. We all end up writing him. We take yeah, turns. This is the best part, though, for real. We we end up uh, writing him. We miss you letters to send him while he's in prison. <laughs> so so th this. Oh this, my this, So just imagine the guards like receiving like from a pedophile. From his victims. <laughs> yeah, like these letters. Like <laughs> we miss you so much at from church, kids. Baxter. Oh. Oh so like God. you're you're a prison guard and it's like oh this pedophile got a bunch of mail and it's just letters from kids like we miss <laughs> you <laughs> like drawn in crayon <laughs> yes did we you make one huh did you make one I signed one that I would pay so much money man. I would pay so much money for that right now I'd fucking frame oh that, that shit. is fucked uh what what the school that you send them uh the church churches are fucked bro what the hell okay besides the fucked up pedophilic stuff this school. Which all religious schools go through, I'm assuming. Syndigo. Yes. I don't like that lead in because it sounds like you, like, if someone watched that clip from the, like, just from that part, it's like, besides the pedophile stuff, tell me about Syndigo. Like, okay. All right. Let me redo it. You ready? Yes. Okay. You ready? 
Please. It doesn't probably Sh doesn't need to be. Shut up. I, just say like wow. I got no, I got this. Wow, Shut up. What I got this. La, la, la. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. That's really fucked. That sucks. I, mean, I can't I can't even get my head around the idea of something like that happening. Do you want an Academy Award chat? <laughs> <laughs> <Can we? laughs> that's fucked up, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> That sucks. That's disgusting. It's weird, man. But uh, uh, let's like, can we just get off the pedophile stuff I hate talking about? So can we talk about the syndicate stuff? <laughs> it's not called syndicate. It's called syndicate. And all right, besides besides the pedophile stuff with the school, can we talk about the church? The church or the church or school? school? It's church. It's church. Church. Uh, church. All the time. That's fuck. This is the last one. I swear. That's fuck. That's so weird. That's disgusting. I don't. I. I don't like talking about it. Besides and besides all that, let's let's get off topic. Continue with the Syndigo stuff. <coughs> We're getting on topic now. Get on topic with the okay. Syndigo stuff. D Daniel and I knew each other since high school, and then we got into college. We both went to like a technical college, so we're like, we're not going anywhere type of shit. And we had fun making sketches together, and uh, we eventually just kind of came together and made Syndigo, which is was a sketch comedy channel. Eventually. Uh, we, um, like, I remember I emailed Mark. This is when we first met Mark Applier. And, uh, so this is how you met Mark? Mm hmm I, I emailed him to just be like, hey, would you like to narrate a sketch? Because he only had, like, 50,000 subs at the time. Mm hmm We had 50 and he had 50,000. You know we met Mark and we did videos with him, blah, blah, blah. About, like, a year passes and we read, like, he'll come out, film some videos with us, all that shit. He moves out to L.A. We end up moving out there to like help him with like sketch comedy and just videos on his channel as well as so to you, like do more Syndigo stuff. You both moved out there at the exact same time. Yeah, him yeah. and Daniel moved out because there. Because we were Syndigo. Which and was, uh, and, you and this, this is about the time I started becoming friends with them. Okay. And uh, I had my little channel kids. Oh! oh. So Slave cleaned up. Daniel and I moved out to LA in February of 2015, and Matt came out to visit us in May. May, yeah. So May of 2015. Basically, what happened was that's when we met. I had my channel uh, in college with my buddy Jackson, and we were making stupid videos in college. And then uh, I got to be friends with them right when they had moved out to LA. Uh, and then they were like, "I finished my freshman year of college," and they're like, "Why don't you come out and make some videos?" So I came out. We made stuff like Blonde Boys, "Fuck Your Mom," all that kind of stuff. Blonde Boys is the <laughs> most popular video on Syndigo, I would say. Yeah, that's like almost seven million views now. Yeah, that's it. We seven just, mil? Yeah. But uh, so we really wanted Matt out in LA. So Daniel was the one that actually convinced Mark to hire Matt as an editor because Mark wanted an editor, and so we Daniel gave him a bunch of opium. And he just like <laughs> we was out of his mind. You have to clarify what? No, okay. So I, I think I feel no. like Matt does a lot of jokes where there's no clarification that it was sarcasm. No, Daniel did not give Mark opium. Okay, so <laughs> Dan Daniel told Mark he's like, "Hey, you need an editor." I mean, this I mean, guy that just came out to visit you know him well. This so is Matt. So then Matt became a member of Syndigo, the third member of Syndigo, and then we ended up all just kind of like living together. And uh, Daniel passed away. And I didn't want to continue Syndigo after that because, in, from my head, um, it was something you guys started together. It, it was something. It's like without Daniel, like there is no Syndigo. Just yeah. like if like I quit or if I passed away or something. It's like if Cheech and Chong, it would be like the you know, yeah. Like it's not Cheech and Chong without. There's Cheech. so much of his personality there that it, it would seem just kind of like shitty to just yeah, be like, yeah. yeah. We're sin to get like a new duo. It yeah, seems especially because really I shitty. joined like literally like a month prior. Yeah. So it's like, that'd be weird. And so I, I just kind of was very instantly like, I don't want to do Syndigo anymore. I'll just, uh, I think the last video was just kind of just like a, hey, it's ending. This is what happened. And bye. Yeah. And uh, we went back home for a few months to grieve. And right. then came back out. I, I, I worked for... Mark channel alongside you for a little bit. You as the main editor, me just kind of doing side stuff, like little editing vlogs and stuff like that. And eventually I came aboard with kids with I came on board. Right. You invited me to come on board with kids with problems, which I was your this, sketch comedy. I had this channel. channel prior um that had gained some traction because of Mark. And at the time, uh after all this tragedy happened, Ryan and I were like, fuck, what do we do now? You know, so I was like, well, I have this channel with some traction. How about you? Yuri, shut up, bro. Why are you coughing? <laughs> shut up, bro. They're getting into the law, man. You know, it, there's this period of like, Ryan and I are kind of like, what do we do? So I had this channel at the time, which had gained some subscribers from 
Mark and uh, my my affiliation with him. So we're like, well, you know, this did sketch comedy. What if we move it here and do this? So we did some videos there, but it kind of felt a little bit weird uh, because like, you know, it's like, it felt like we just kind of shifted stuff to somewhere else and weren't really doing. Most of the catalog was what you did. And right. bringing me along, it just kind of like, it was still more of your channel and I didn't, and I didn't, I felt like I was just kind of like a cast member and on we that want channel. That. So we're like, I wanted to actually create stuff and be a part of something because I like the process of building a channel. Right. Um, and so you felt the same way. We had this crazy idea. We're like, what if we just start a brand new channel right now from the ground up? Because with Kids of Problems, we would only upload every like three, four weeks. Um, so is is Kids with Problems still a channel? Like, are you guys It's still there, still but we, still, we, haven't, we haven't posted in years. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, Cause it's kind of like a relic of history. It's kind of there now. Yeah. Uh, but I basically, like your main channel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but basically, what uh, the fuck? basically, I was a demon. But basically, uh, Ryan and I were like, we saw this demand online from doing videos with Mark, where people wanted to see more of us, and we're like, well, we're only posting every now and then. What if we made a channel that's more like regular? And you know, at the time, we knew a lot of. <laughs> at the time, you couldn't have a channel solely based on sketch comedy, which is what we really liked doing right. because it couldn't it made no grow. money. Yeah, yeah. And it that was grow. when the algorithm was just kind of all against that type of content. What year was it? What year was this? 2016, uh, 20, which 2016, is kind of yeah. around the same time, I guess, that animation was really taking a big hit yeah, as yeah. well. So, sure, attention. so and, short, and it was high quality videos was, was not a good way to go. 2016 was literally anything high effort just got fucked. That's when they, also, they, they yeah. decided it was retention because also, they wanted to yeah. keep customers on the website. At the time, uh, we weren't into the YouTube scene at all. The only people that we actually knew uh, in the YouTube scene seemed to be like Let's Players. And we saw the success of all of them and we're like, uh, you know, like I feel like people want to see more of us and we like video games. Why don't we do that? This is like, yeah, like this uh, is so we figured out like, why don't we do a podcast? We'll do gaming videos and we can still put the sketch comedy stuff and all that other stuff on this channel. What if we make a variety channel that all sure, of this originally. is put into one? Uh, so that's how we kind of came up with the idea for Super Mega. Yeah. Uh, we went through a million name changes. It was going to be Sellout Club. It was going to be all this stuff. And then like it was, two days before we launched. What was the other name? It was like Super Mega Fun Time. Or yeah. Some we long like, fucking name. It was some long thing we shortened to Super Mega and we were so excited. And I still like, I look back on the days when we first started so fondly because it was so much fun just working on it with you and our apartment yep. and everything. Uh, eventually we moved out from Mark's place, got our own apartment, worked on the channel nonstop. We fucking put blood, sweat, and tears into that shit. I remember you told me at one point you guys were aiming for two videos a day. Or was yeah. We did, yeah. yeah. We Originally, we were doing two videos a day, and I would love to get back to that point eventually. Really? Yeah, no. because we uh, now we, that we have an office and, and people helping, I would like to do that. It's very hard, though. Do you it's, think two two videos a day works now with YouTube? Or do you think that's, the system's not going to punish you? I'm going to go wee-wee. You take I'm, oh my, my, my child liver. Um, I, I think that... Two videos a day. What what other current successful That's YouTubers do it? Do they do it? Still? Game Grumps does it. Grumps do does it. Um, I, well, they used to do three videos a day, and I, and I, well, and I, I, I well, no one thing. else. Pewdie though. I think PewDiePie used to do. He did do multiple two videos a day, yeah. and a bunch of the other gaming yeah. channels. What's used to hard do is keeping up with that, right? Because it's like I don't know, doing two videos a day is surprisingly hard to keep up with and maintain that personal life because it's very important to have that kind of personal when well when we were first doing super mega we didn't have like personal lives it was i would just, say it was just so like all we had was channel. this channel because we were coming from the shitty situation and we want we just all we had was like to make it better we need to work on this and put our effort towards this we would we would pretty much record and edit all day and we'd wake up around fucking noon and work till 4 a.m and then go I'd back wake to up bed. at 4 p.m <laughs> i did that today i woke up yeah. at 4 so did max we woke up i had a whole day before you guys woke up and just ended up we taking woke up a at 4 30 today yeah now we have like connections friends uh, events that we want to go to we're trying we're building our social lives out there since we've been living there for four years it's our home now but at that time, I, I wouldn't have considered LA we had no my home. friends out there. So we, it was we just work, 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 get this channel going. Well, how much, put of, the, the, content how much out. of the main editing are you guys still doing? 
like we, for your we, own channel. We do, um, we do not do our Let's Plays anymore. We've edited enough Let's Plays for the rest of our, like, we I don't have to edit another one for the rest of my let's life. Plays. We edited hundreds of Markiplier Let's well, Plays. Well, that's something but we should have touched on as well, that you guys, when did you go to work for Game Grumps? Oh, we went to work Markiplier. for 2016? Game, yeah, 2016, because we, Summer? we quit our jobs with Mark, summertime. Uh, yeah, it was like May or so. Yeah, and we and were we were on our own for a bit. Starting and, Super Mega. And the channel wasn't going to support us Here's well. Here's the thing, it made $20 a day at the, in the beginning. Like, we were doing it, and we loved doing it, and it was it was, it was was fun, and we enjoyed doing it together, especially after all this tragedy. We, we worked hard, and it's like, you know what? Maybe we can pull back uh, from what happened, and we can kind of, like, reach this new point. But the unfortunate outcome of that was that we were more than likely going to have to move back home. Mm -hmm. and, right, and, right and just have to quit it's this like whole we can't afford adventure. california uh, are you guys prepared to move home starting yes yeah. absolutely yeah. uh because you know we Worked had no that, money at the for time. food lion again i had Chick literally i dropped out of college for all of this i i I, I did my freshman year so did he he dropped I, I out went, of college I did freshman and sophomore year and then just booked it we, out we, we had no money and we had no degrees so it, when you're out in los angeles and we're like oh we have no education we have no you know not really much experience it's like what are we going to do so we kind of banked everything on starting this channel uh, and we put every single ounce of our day into it. Like we fucking worked nonstop from the time we woke up to went to bed. We were just working on Super Mega. And, we didn't uh, have anyone to hang out with other no, than we, each other. No, we had no friends out there either. We were just we hanging got, out. Were you guys living together at this time? Yeah, yeah we had an apartment yeah. together. And then we slowly became friends with the guys at Game Grumps. And uh, just one day Aaron was like, you know, like, why don't you guys come help us out on our channel? So we did. And we got was it. Was he paying you from the start? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It was, it was, yeah, it was yeah. an official job. Listen, I'm just. He was, he was, was concerned for the gamers union. <laughs> no, no, no. For the gamers union, we were, we were paid adequately. <laughs> Chad, I didn't spill anything. They were empty, bro. Anyway, we were. Uh, uh, Aaron brought us on board. We became friends with everybody at the Grumps. Wonderful, wonderful people. And this was back in 2016, so when they were really low scale. Yeah, it, it was when a very, Steam, it was, it was small. Steam Train, if anyone yeah, watched, this was, was still Steam thing. Train was with Ross. That yeah, was it, it was back when like the company ago. was kind of like Ross, Aaron, Danny, Barry, like the, the essential yeah. people. Barry was originally an editor, and then he became a member. Barry did was one of the first editors. Editing. Did they let a bunch of their old editors just become members and build up? Kind of. Thing, uh, not, well, not really. No. Barry, Barry was like, so Barry edited Grumps, but then he just became kind of like a cast member slash. He would also edit certain things like he he took on his own projects like sketches or he would edit some of the commercials we took most of the commercials though yeah um we we essentially just became the main editors of game grumps which i get because like when you become a personality you're like why am i still doing all this editing uh and then they they hired kevin um and then there came a point where we came along and we became the new editors. Now Ben is their new editor. Yeah, Ben, and he's a funny fucking dude. He's a, he's a great dude, but basically we uh, we worked for Gang Brummas for three years, edited all of their Let's Plays and all of their commercials and all their videos, like the live action videos, like 10 Minute Power and all this stuff. Ryan and I worked in that office, uh, but then the whole time we were building up our channel, uh, and then it came to this point where we realized like, you know what? We're doing these live shows for our channel now. We're selling merch, we're having fun doing it. And it, we love Game Grumps so much and, and the opportunity they've given us, but we hit this point where we're like, you know what? Why don't we see what happens if we go on our own? You needed um, to and have that, air and to that breathe. hasn't been very long, right? That's like no, a since this of year, months. this summer, yeah. Yeah. It, we're, we're, we're currently in this kind of new era. We just got an office. We just hired some people this year to help out. And, and this is the first time we're actually fully a company on our own. I like the building the channel thing so this is as you were saying it's kind of like just going back and being able to start from scratch and yeah. build something yeah. um, and, and now it's it's just been like incredibly fun and i'm infinitely grateful for mark the game grumps the people that helped us kind of get to where we are um but now you know we're on our own we're fucking and working hard and there's, there's, having a good time there's no bad blood between you guys you're all no no yeah I just I just had to clarify it because I, I know some retard in the chat no no there's, like, there's always people oh, that will hate each other yeah. it's like no, no, no it's like yeah. We're literally kind of just doing our own thing. You spread your wings, bro. Yeah. Spread. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Hey, I don't don't tell any of the other guests, but you guys have been the best guests so far. No way. Yeah. Are you sure? I mean it, bro. We can leave it in. These are the best guests we've ever had, man. I kissed Matt in the toilet, and he said I've my kissed, he kissed said my lips were better than yours, bro. Yeah, you weren't supposed to say that. All right, these guests suck, man. They are, they died, bro. I have kissed everybody at this table by now. I haven't kissed you. That's Yuri. real gay, bro. Oh, Yuri, Yuri, would you, you like a kiss? Matt? 
Gary, would you like a kiss? He's a whore. He's saying yes. That's yes. Go kiss him, man. You're a common whore. Uh, it's on your face, Yuri. Don't move it from there. You, got, you can't yeah, move it. Yeah, I got it. Matt, kiss him. Uh, That's yeah. gay, man. That's so gay. So we've had we've had some guests so far, and out of everyone, you guys have been the best. No shit talk to the rest of the guests. Your favorite. You've been my favorite so far. Nice. I, you're on par. Actually, no, you're on par with Chirdleys. Okay. But cool. you, you never got a chance to hang out with Chirdleys because so you're, you're not busy. saying you're not saying podcast guests. You're just saying people. I guess in general to Australia oh, to hang okay. out with us, yeah. Uh, oh, it's off. Okay, time to the... fucking go. <laughs> what, what the fuck? The fuck? What happened? Was that vomit or no? No, no, it wasn't Spot? vomit. If you watch the video back, I took it. I took bleeding. I took a sip. <laughs> oh, the foam. I did it too far and it went straight in my eye and it hurt. This is a great clip on the Clips channel right now. Are you mad at me? Uh, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Why are you disappointed? I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Can you smell your breath? Oh, God. These guests are guys. <laughs> Can I have a different drink? Hey, I, someone make a remix. Can I? Uh, uh, can I not drink the stout? I it's my least favorite cream. type of beer. I hate stout. Get this man a fucking Bruh. mercury Jury. Jury, Jury you can, I mean Yuri, you can drink the stout. Bruh. All right, it's. I think oh, it's. Oh, this is we're still doing the remix. Hang on. Uh, no, we're not. No sh- more. I want someone to remix it, man. Bruh. <laughs> Desperate fourteen-year-old on Twitter, please remix. This. Wait, make it make a sound effects for the remix, bruh. Uh, bruh. Bud, bruh. Yeah. That of cream. Cream Joe. Beater. Oh. Beater. Subscribe to Super Mega. Fuck. Uh. The Thirteenth Amendment. Elk. <laughs> right, it's time Can we for a s- little segment. We like to call, what do we call this segment on? It's called Scott Gives Us Paper to Read, bro. This is a little segment we like to do on every episode called Matt or Ryan. Yeah, Maybe really should, there be, should there be drinking components as punishment? Yeah, if you're wrong, you drink. If you're right, you don't drink. You okay. both have to be right to have a drink, but if one of you is wrong, okay, so you have both have, you to, both be, have to be right. Yeah, that's no, it. No, you both no. have to be right about the treat. The tweet and you don't drink. Listen, if you one of you fuck it up, listen. you both have to drink. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if we're wrong, easy. we have to drink. Yeah, yeah. one of us. I reckon they should buzz in with their own custom sound effect. No, bro, you don't want to kill Matt, man. <laughs> it, bro. All right, who who tweeted this? EA, stop. Me. Well done, you drink. I don't have to drink. No, we, we got it right. We got it no, right. No, bro, have a drink, man. <laughs> that's not what the rules. That's not what you said. Have a drink, man. Yeah, that's right. not the rules. Right. Who said yes? As he's said in recent videos, it's true. I no longer edit for Mark. Nothing bad happened, and we're still good friends. So don't worry. <laughs> this boy right here. That was here. me. That was me. That was my tweet announcing I no longer edit for Markiplier. What did you mean by that? I meant that I no longer edit for Markiplier. Okay, and there's no bad blood? No bad blood at all. Okay. We still kiss every other weekend. That's gay. It's not gay. Well, it's what bros Markiplier. No, it's not gay. It's what bros do with Markiplier. Right, bro. Shut up, man! Stop! I'm gonna let Chad read this one Which without one the it? fedora. Which one is it? Can you point to it? This one, bro. Dude, I'm so nervous right now. Where can you go? 9-11... Tri- Minecraft 9-11 tribute. Who tweeted this? What? Matt. Matt, Matt tweeted Matt, this. Matt tweeted 9-11 tribute. You sure it was Matt? What, 9-11 Minecraft tribute? Yeah, it was yeah, like 100% mad. He's already thinking like, that That's sounds mad. like a good idea. <laughs> Why is that offensive? <laughs> <laughs> which, one of the, which one of the cubes were you going to fly into the towers? No, 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 no. Wait, listen. stop. Who <laughs> tweeted it? No, no I tweeted that. Hey, rumor has it in Minecraft 2. There's only one tower and it's built to speed. I got this one. Was it Matt or was it not Matt? It was, it was Matt. me. It was me. It was I'll Matt. take the blame. That was me. But however, <laughs> when tweeting Mostly that, I made no Matt. offense because <laughs> I, I, I you didn't say no offense at the start of the tweet, bro. It just says working on Minecraft 911. Chad, tribute. did you say no offense when uh? Shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bro. think that's offensive. I think it's it's beautiful because Minecraft is a world where you can create whatever the hell you want and, Why and destroy, destroy it. it. Why, Why would you destroy it? it? No, I'm not I, talking. 
when I said when I said 9/11 tribute, I don't mean to build the destruction. I mean to build like the tribute. Okay, here's the thing. In New York City, every year on 9/11, they do a 9/11 tribute, which is the beautiful fucking light beams coming up. That's it's, not, they do a live reenactment on ice. No, they don't. They don't that's, do a live reenactment on ice. Taste, <laughs> that's in bad taste. I didn't even realize it was Thursday. Uh huh. That was fuck. That was probably me. Is that the tweet? I didn't even realize it was no. Thursday. I have a weird feeling that was me. I'm gonna say that's Matt. I feel like that's no, Matt. I, I feel like that was from when I was in high school. Like I feel like I feel like I tweeted that. 2016. Okay, I was not in high school. What what was the tweet again? I didn't even realize it was Thursday. <laughs> that's a good tweet. That was me. That was me. Matt. That was Matt. Yeah. Congratulations. Are all of these me so far? Like I'd say did, most of them are probably did, going did, did to be Scott you. Did Scott just only find bad tweets of mine? So it's, oh my god. <laughs> Can I read no, this I one? Know this this one, one sounds bad. Let me read it, man. The is, read it. You can't look, read. You're looking at the person who you're like, oh my god, then you looked at Matt. So now I, I got know. this one. Give me it's gonna be me. Point it's gonna be one, me. Point the one. No, you just read one. Uh, read, I don't just read one. He can can't read. He can't read. read Chad, I've got one. Okay. You ready? Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah Chad, yeah, you're yeah, covering yeah. the mic. Let's do this. I can see him through the light. All right, Chad. Stop! I got this one, man. Uh huh. And he... Chad, you're not talking to the mic. Okay, I got this Have one. Have you done here. this you're show? Ready? Have you ever toasted a cold ones before? Any bros in the area want to get together and watch some sex? Hit me up. That's Matt. That's Matt. <laughs> Who tweeted this, that's, bro? That's Matt. That's not me. I've never that's tweeted that. that. Any wait, bros? Wait, wait, you have to agree to a person no, that no, tweeted wait, wait. it, bro. That's not me. Any bros want to get together and watch some sex? Hit me up. Yeah. I, I never Matt. tweeted that. That's I Matt. never, that's Ryan. That's Ryan, Matt. That's, Ryan, tweet absolutely. That, that's Matt. Matt. That's something I would tweet, okay, but I didn't tweet so that. Okay, so you have to, you got 10 seconds to decide who it was. Matt. I'm going to say that's Matt. It was Ryan, it was Ryan. I never tweeted that It was that Ryan. Shit. I that's never tweeted any bros want to watch some sex. Well, I'm going to let you guys know right now. Both of you have to have big drinks because it was Ryan. Any you bros? Wait, can I see that? This is a good tweet, though, Ryan. Ryan. That's a really good tweet. Any bros in the area want to get together and watch some sex? <laughs> I just read it like that. Why are you rereading it? Because he's funnier than you. I get it, bro. I piggybacked my career off this idiot. I, I got it, man. That, that was December seventh, two thousand fifteen. I gotta be no, honest. I need, I need to see visual proof. You guys I just drink. I no, gotta take another one. Big mouthful, bro. Cheers. 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 Big mouthful. Finish your drinks, actually. No, no. If you finish, no, oh, you finish your that. drinks, fifty dollars Australian each. That's like ten dollars like each. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I gotta say real quick. That's a really good tweet. I legitimately convinced my gay friend. I thought gay couples played with their poop. <laughs> that's Matt. That's got it. That's Matt. During sex. <laughs> that's, that's gross. Matt. Matt. Oh, that, oh, that's me, Ryan. Yeah, that's you. Ryan, I don't- I've never thought gay couples play with poop. <laughs> that, well, that's the point of the tweet, is that you convinced your friend that gay couples play with poop. Yeah, wait, wait, says, read it again. But it I don't- it, but says, I don't I, it says legitimately, like, that was the precursor to make sure you knew that it was serious. Wait, wait, read it again It doesn't just say, I convinced. I'll read it, I got this. My, it, shut up! Let me read it, bro! You literally oh. can't read! Shut I, up! I can speak Morse code, man. Look at this shit. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm sorry, wait, wait, wait. Do you guys, do you guys, um, are you fluent with Morse code? Yeah, no. I am. I know well, hey, there's no reason for you to have the paper, bro. He was gonna translate it to Morse code. I know, I know Morse code. It's it. <laughs> Chad, stop, I know what you're typing, that's, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I legitimately convinced my gay friend I thought gay couples played with their shit during sex. That might be me. Uh, that's you! That might be me. You, you, you were like, that's Matt! That's Matt! That's you! I think that's me. Who is it? Who is I it? I think that's oh, me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You gotta decide, bro. Is it Matt we just, or is we it just, Ryan? We just, we just, uh, it's Ryan. Me. It's Ryan. Me, 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 me. It's Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan. <laughs> Why did you come Cause, around? Because oh, uh, right. I actually remember the conversation. Uh, of when it happened. Because in South Carolina, uh, you know, gay people are as rare as the dodo birds, so... Oh, those are extinct, man. Exactly. Exactly, so, Chad. Are you saying we should kill all gays? I'm, sa <laughs> I'm saying that if we... I'm saying that... I just remember, uh, uh, friend. Yeah, my gay friend. You know, kissing his gay friend and, is a prank, dude. Uh, just, no, like, no, goofing with him. No, feeling no. His, his and just chest. asking him and just kind of like... Because I was like, because you guys, you like butt stuff, right? And he's like... I mean, yeah, I mean, like, we have sex. We have anal sex. I'm like, yeah, so, like, y'all play with your poop and shit. And he's like, he's like, no. I'm like, and what's the point? He's like, what do you mean, what's the point? I'm like, the only reason to clown around there is is because poop comes out. When you when you said I legitimately convinced, he thought that that's 100% what you thought. Yeah. This is 20. Because I was playing the part of the stupid southern straight man. 
Which I was at the time. Yeah, 2015. Not anymore. <clears throat> November He's the California game November 2015. Boy. Next tweet. Move on. Move it on. Move it along. Who tweeted this? Matt or Ryan? Likes are not needed. Just appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was joking. It was <laughs> <laughs> this one is at someone. At who? PewDiePie. Probably Matt. PewDiePie. I don't think I've ever tweeted at him. Oh, you'd be surprised who it is. This is me. Now, this could be embarrassing. So this one's just a PewDiePie. This is from 2016. It just says, no. I fucking love you. Who tweeted that? That was me. I that was Matt. Love you. That, that was, was me. Matt. That was Matt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was, Congratulations. I, I was cloud chasing. I was Congratulations. Like, oh. It was a PewDiePie song. Huh? Right, this one is my favorite one. Oh, oh it's, it's Max's it's favorite. It's Max's. This is my favorite. What is oh, this? Oh, bro, I'll be surprised if they get this one. I'd be yeah, surprised if they me. leave this in the Patreon. It's part. probably me. It's probably Matt. It's probably me. Let's just hear it. Oh, we've got that emoji that looks like it's coming. Like, okay. Chica, a freak though. That's all, Matt. All, <laughs> caps, <laughs> all caps on freak. Oh! <laughs> Love heart eyes emoji. That's Matt. Damn, I need to get me a girl like this. <laughs> That's Matt. That's one hundred percent Matt. I remember that it was a picture of it was a picture of Chica on her back. Mar Markiplier's dog, and I was There's like, no damn. Photo here. I, think I need just, to get, well, I need to give me what's a. What's your photo? I responded to a pic. Okay, so Markiplier tweeted a picture of his dog, like. Nipples shown and everything, and I was like, "Damn, I need to give me a freak like this." Did Mark allow you to make those jokes huh. on the work at the work? Hey, don't talk about my dog like that. He wasn't uncomfortable with that. No, he was fine because with it. it, it, it I, haven't, I haven't finished yet. It continues. <laughs> it's got the it's got the emoji of like the hands, you know, like uh, the yeah. Praise this thing. Yeah, exactly. She six nine, that pussy. And then some emojis of cats on there. What? Matt. She's she's six nine that pussy. A what is your four. problem, <laughs> Maybe it was because he had a did you have banana at the time? Uh, I was being a meme <laughs> lord, dude. It was what what year was this? So being a meme lord is talking about sixty nine dogs. Scott? Chad, you look like fucking notch right now, dude. You look like a fucking what idiot. Mean? What do you mean by that? Sorry. Well, you don't get off the topic, well, man. I was talking about you 69 Matt, and Scott, dogs. Scott has expunged the data. There is no date on this specific one for some reason. <laughs> Scott, why'd you do that? It's timeless. <laughs> <laughs> you already. Know, what is this? A quick question, Yuri. Well, I get many, a good shot of the clog. Hey, Yuri, quick question. How many shots you put in this drink? Uh, not much. Not much. Man, I've just put in two shots. Oh, Dude, that got... smells like pure alcohol. These boys, you're about to experience wait, wait, a let, cloggy. Let, wait, let's a finish cloggy. this. <laughs> let's finish this game yeah, first. No, 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 no. Wait, we okay, that tweet was me. Just that tweet was me. I remember, I, I remember being fucking like 19 and, oh. tweeting, and tweeting like, oh, chica, free. Give me a... Yeah. I just one sec before That's we... That's kind of cringe, bro. Before I we, know. Before we continue, nah. a cloggy is for the... Okay, that's gay. Uh, a cloggy. And what's wrong with that? A cloggy is nothing gay about that. <laughs> I just, said, it, I just said it's gay. Oi. A cloggy is for the real boys. We've this only man served. has been fried since the start. We've only served cloggies to one guest on this podcast. Who was that? They were our sons. Okay, so I've always heard that Australians do that shit where shoey. they. A shoe, yeah, where they, where they drink out our, of a shoe. This is our spin on it. It's called a cloggy. Why so, why the fuck would I use a straw? I just put him in there for a minute. No, meme. fuck the straw. Alright. But you can't I tell you what, you cannot do it like this. You have to do it from the side because it will spill. From the side, yeah. yeah like, all right, Ryan, do a cloggy, man. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ryan's gonna get uh, some water out of here. Uh, do the cloggy. Right, Ryan be like, I don't wanna hang over tomorrow. Pussy. Do no, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. Do a cloggy from the side. No, myself. you can't do it from the back, it will spill. You gotta do it from the side. Do it from the side. Dude, that's straight up fucking like that, whiskey. Yeah. What did you put in this? Why can't I do it? Spilling it, bro. Just drink it. You're spilling oh, it. I spilled it on my fucking jeans. You getting okay. a good shot of that? Scott. Scog. He's a cog, man. <laughs> drink the clogs, bro. All right, right. Clog, 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 clog. Clark, no, you're spilling it, man. Just drink it, you fucking idiot. Nah, he's getting right in there. That's the part of the fucking oh, experience. Oh, man. <laughs> what is it? Stop oh. spilling it. That was fucking pure whiskey. What'd you put in that, Yuri? Two shots of vodka. Yeah. <laughs> that's filth. <laughs> <laughs> no.
No, that's not vodka. That's whiskey. I just don't like, I don't like, I don't like, or I don't drink alcohol often. So this is fucking disgusting. Great. Yuri, what'd you put in that? Uh, two shots of... Come here, come here, come here. What'd you put in that? I put in two shots of whiskey and then half a can of mercury each. I thought that oh, was Oh, that's why it tastes like shit, bro. <laughs> Chad, did you finish that? My <laughs> shirt is soaking wet. My pants are soaking wet. My chair is soaking wet. Can we give him a new shirt? I see hey, bro, We're only halfway, man. Chill. Through the we're game only show? halfway? No. I w- oh, joking. dude, this is so through much- the show. Oh. oh. Okay, go on. This Yuri, so Yuri, funky. give me this shirt, but medium. Yeah, can you get him a new one, bro? Bring him a beamer. Hey, remember. Bring me While cream. he's doing that, I'm going to pee. Does anyone else need to pee I again? Got piss. No, I'm I got, good. I got to piss we'll after that. Let's sit here together. I can get okay. pissed. Right. But uh, this is going to be kept in. Uh, <laughs> in case you know, it's that own 369. <laughs> what are you guys saying? Because I hated that. <laughs> I can pick up the audio. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Repeat? No, bro. Yeah. Secret, man. I'll cancel the podcast unless secret. you tell me. Yeah, bro. cancel it, Chad. You'll waste all that money flying us out here. <laughs> what do you say, idiot? Max and I took a pee pee, and now it's time to read more tweets. Hey! What did you Don't say? Hey, what did you say? What are you talking I'll about? I'll break the table. That was cut, bro. What did you say? I'll break the glass of Dark no, Before. Chad, don't, don't do that. Don't do what did you say? Repeat it. Nothing. You're gonna have to tell Nothing. him. You're gonna have to tell him. Oh, shit! What, what did you say? <laughs> tell me what you said, bro. Do you wanna get glassed? What did you say, no, man? What did you say him? to Max? Should I tell him? I just said, can I break one too? You will not be able to do it as clean as I did. I've got practice. You will you will shatter no. it. Hey, oh, keep that in because it was fucking sad and pathetic. Bro, Bro, I don't have muscles. I try to break a bottle. I try to look tough. No, it's not going to happen. So What is that? Virgin or olive oil uh, bottle maybe? Uh, oh! All right, can we get some Oh. oh, oh. I think I broke my glasses, dude. I think I broke my glasses. <laughs> oh no. I, dude, I broke my fucking glasses. <laughs> in consolation, that was the best head I've ever gotten, so. I just broke my glasses. Hey, lucky, not just wearing your second pair, man. I second broke my pair. glasses pretending to give Ryan head. No, Chad, I need my glasses back. There's glass all over this table. That's hey, Prezzo. Get that fucking no glass way. off the table. Get the glass off the table, you fucking idiot. Hurry up! Why'd you smash the fucking bottle? Hey, welcome to Cold Ones. My glasses are you fucking broken. I am your host. My glasses are broken. I'm the co-host, Max Mofo. This is the host, anything for views. Today, we're doing an episode with special guest, Super Mega. I have Matt. glass. I have glass in my arms. Matt and Ryan. <laughs> my glasses are broken. Fuck! Let me show you how to break a glass bottle. Mm-hmm. Chad, don't do ready? that. Don't do that, Chad. Stop. Chad, stop. Oh, if you did it again, it'd be hilarious. Oh, you're so no. true. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Chad, stop. Chad, no way. So we just we just smashed a cup, but we did like 20 minutes of fuckiness. I, you fuck- oh my god. <laughs> Look at me, bro. That's Come not on, funny. Man. I just got this. I'm not your enemy, bro. How are Wait, you? you just changed into that? <laughs> Can't you just licorice. go to Amazon, no. type in Adidas sweatpants, and yeah, just buy them? Know, bro, these are limited edition ones. I'm not happy about that. No, they're bro. not. They are, man. I'm not happy. They're not limited <laughs> edition. Chad, Chad. Chad, I was making <laughs> goofy goofs. That wasn't even funny, man. But uh, you'll pay back, bro. He'll pay back. I'm going to use this time to shout out our sponsors. <laughs> We've been recording for two hours. Let's hit those sponsors <laughs> up. <laughs> hey, sp- welcome slot. to Cold Ones. I'm your host, Anything Fuse. This is the end of the episode. <laughs> no, no, we already did this. We're this done. is towards the end of the episode. This is the better <laughs> version, man. Shout out to our sponsors. I'm just going to lips it and then we'll voice over it. And also, I think that would just be like, why was he eating peanut butter on the show? <laughs> and then also our other sponsor. Doesn't seem also convincing. our other sponsor. We have enough material to make an episode out of all this fuckery. We need to finish the tweets. All right, listen, listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Chad, I poured beer on you as a goof. It got in your Adidas pants, your limited Adidas pants. Ugh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I always grabbed my cock and balls. (laughs) You did it. Got a good grab, too. No, Chad, listen, listen. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to ruin anything. And if I did... I will give you the money to pay Listen, for it. Listen, you didn't ruin anything physical. You just ruined our friendship. Look, no I, I, I think you can live with the fact that you'll just never have his respect again. No, I love Chad. 
I love anything for views. He's he's the same, tell us your, your He's your the same guy moment. that literally Facebook Chad messaged your dumb. sister, hey, bitch, how tight is your pussy? Uh, Chad, uh, Chad, uh, Chad messaged my sister on Facebook and said, hey, bitch, how tight is your pussy? Right, bro, that was payback. You got my pants. Sit down, man. And, and she, she, she <laughs> called me. My, my, my sister called me today and was like, who is this person? Who is this Chad <laughs> Roberts person? Because he sent me horrible <laughs> shit. And I was like, I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. That's my <laughs> friend Chad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. boys, sit down. We're going to finish the podcast, idiot. You're forgiven. I don't give a fuck about these pants. They suck shit. They're like $2. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chad be like, I'm, I'm gay. Fuck, man. Where's my hat? The hat's right. off. Shut Where's up. My Where's my Let's hat? do this segment. I'm taking the lead. <laughs> Listen, we need to finish one or two tweets. That's yeah, all we got left for this segment. I Let's got go. some more on this piece of paper here, too. No, you don't. Shut up for he a second. He has some papers Shut that up. we haven't seen. Excited. <laughs> now, who more likely would have used that word? Me or... Who's the most excited? Me. I'm an excited boy. Because I used extremes for no fucking reason when I was... There's so younger. much whiskey in it. I can't excited. drink that. Finish it, bro. That's too much whiskey. Shut up. Shut Dude, the let's... fuck up. All of you, shut up for a second. Let me just do this. We can Read move it. on. Read it. Excited to get back home and see family, friends, and movies. Me. That's but fine. I'm also excited to get back and spend time with Lego. Of course that's me. Oh, that's Ryan. That's my dog. Oh, the dog's name's Lego. Yeah, what did you think? Wait, I'm, I'm so excited to go play with my Lego brick set. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, these suck, I man. Thought, I thought you maybe thought that's, that's why I was on there. Good no. man. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan is a Lego's my dog. He's no. a fucking beautiful pooch. Here's a question about Lego. Did you talk about fucking that dog too? I've talked about fucking him. In fact, I have fucked him several times. <laughs> so who's gonna fucking stop me? So you, <laughs> the fucking cops? <laughs> listen, 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 Yuri, Yuri. So you, wait, wait, you have a dog. Disclaimer, Ryan, he Ryan's drunk. Banana. He has yeah. never fucked his dog. He loves his dog. He has never fucked and him. And he does suck. I'm in love with you. my dog. You don't, don't need to, you don't need to clarify for I'm, I'm trying to you just help need to my friend out. No, he needs to clarify for himself, not for you. And let's do the sobriety <laughs> tests. Let's do the tests. The no, 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 test, bro. Ryan, it's mental. Kiss me. What's the, the what's the one test they do when they stop you? What's the finger on the nose? Or finger up the yeah, body. on one foot. Put, your, okay, put so your fist up his ass. In America, if you get oh, in America, if you get pulled over for drunk driving, you have to put your finger on your nose, and you have to walk foot by foot, like like heel to toe, like this. Ready, Ryan? All right, move with me. Ready? I think you're making mixing two things together, maybe. X Y Z. I never <laughs> thought. Oh, my nuts. I I'm never sorry, thought we'd need nuts? more editing than they had a basic episode until we got to I'm this part. I'm so sorry, I hurt your nuts. I didn't mean to hurt your nuts. You They're need my nuts. Quite I need your nuts. They're quite a lot of Super Mega has nothing but your nuts, Ryan. There's also a lot of gay Did I need your nuts? Did I hit your nuts? Fuck you, Chad. Ryan, do you want to hit my nuts to make it even? Do you want to hit my nuts to make it even? No. You sure? Yeah. Ah! Uh, oh, careful, bro. Bro, there's candles and red that pepes. Thing is, that thing's not stable. It's not bolted. There's also a red pepe on it. Hold on. Let me piss the alcohol out. Sober up a bit. All right, that you ain't gonna help. Go oh, wash your right. face. Well, come you on. You should go wash your face, go piss. Both of you together. Ryan. Matt. Demons. Oh. Ryan, there's demons. <laughs> Matt, go wash your face, bro. Or both of you go wash your face, go have a water. Ryan hit my fucking nuts. Go so to hard. the bathroom, Ryan. idiot. <laughs> Go right. wash your face. Have a water. Listen, man. If oh, you were... my nuts! Ryan fucking smacked my nuts. Ryan's a demon, bro. I'm I'm dying right now. Ryan's a demon. He didn't put the black goo on my legs. Boys, Matt, nuts. shut up. I need to Chad? shout out my sponsors. Chad, Chad, listen. I need to shout out the people Chad. that fund the alcoholism, man. Chad, I will literally kill you. All right, I'm shouting out the sponsors. Mutus Mike Prezzo. Shout out to our sponsors. Raycon Global. People you don't say that. no to me. I can do it again, man, because I've got one. And shout out to shirt with a Z dot cool. Have you seen that meme where Shia LaBeouf goes, do it. Just do it. Do, do, it. do it. What the fuck is happening? Live your dreams. <laughs> Just do it. I'm in the Gold Coast. I'll vlog it. Yes, Just tell me what's good you said to do. tomorrow. Matt responds but with oh shit. Come to my apartment. Max then says, "The Oz Gold Coast, fuck ass." Matt what responds with, 
I'm Ryan, a fucking idiot. Matt actually uh, wants to know. Uh, no, I genuinely want to know. Oh, here, read it for yourself. All right, I'll read my own tweets. Ready? I, I mean, I just read it. Oh. So let's let's give you guys the spot. <laughs> Sit the fuck back down. This Pardon. man is chaotic. <laughs> this man is Scott. chaotic. What the fuck? What? <laughs> ah, you've broken the table. I need Felix. Ah. <laughs> uh, Ah, uh, bring me a bucket of cream. Ah, oh. dude, he was already on an episode, man. Get him off, bro. Hey, click on Felix's face, bro. You remember annotations? We brought don't, him back. Don't click on. <laughs> okay, let's take a time oh, machine. No, Chad's back. We mean, oh no, Chad's back. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. I feel like, I feel We're like having a moment. They're going through their well, earliest they, fucking interactions. Leave keep, them alone. They keep talking, then. It's me and you. This episode is more of a skit than a fucking podcast <laughs> show. Chad. This is some weird, absurd skit. Stop pulling my pants Dude, out. Dude, give him a raspberry on his asshole. Leave my ass alone, man. You gay. Get the fuck off. You fell nourished, little shit. What the fuck, PewDiePie? Who killed PewDiePie, man? I can kill Felix! Hey guys, I'm automatically sober again. Um, sorry for the, uh, just Matt's bullshit. No. I had to read some. <laughs> what is happening, man? Say one of your fucking skits, get back to the table. <laughs> well, you guys keep talking, be on the couch. I'm in the fedora. <laughs> <laughs> Was that real? Yes, I slipped on PewDiePie. This happens on Joe Rogan, right? That shit hurted. I remember when Mark Pass fell over on the- Max Bofo said, June 11th, 2016, I'm in the Gold Coast. I'll vlog it. Just tell me what's good to do. And then I said, on June 11th, 2016, Oh shit, come to LA and come to my apartment. Come to my apartment. And Max Bofo said, And I'll- Show has gone to shit. Ow! <laughs> fuck! I'm sorry. The Aus Gold Coast, fuck ass. And I said, <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Ha 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 ha. He broke, he broke the table. Uh, that was also Matt. He's done everything. Did I break the table? The table was No, broken. Matt, no. Don't do any running attack. You want to break the table, everything. Matt? Like, fuck this table, bro! You suck, man! You fucking suck! No, 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 no! Max tweets, I'm glad I have my cats to support me. This is out. This is out. I love them, yeah. even if they don't like me. And he tweeted a, pic a picture. Some Prezzo put the picture up. He tweeted that. And then I said, That's put so gay. Some, I said, put some pants on, you cretin. And then Max said, I'm going to end this podcast. I don't know how I'm going to start it. Max said, you'll have to speak up. I'm, I, I can't read it when you're spitting. I'm wearing mouth. a towel. He said, he said, he said, uh -huh. bit my tongue. How did Matt get so fucked up so quickly? He's so light. Because the cloggy, bro. You poisoned it. <laughs> you may have, po I, he did smash one of the tables. I just finished wait, smashing wait, wait. it. Max said. That's okay. I don't care anymore. Max said, you'll have, you'll have to speak <laughs> up. I'm wearing well, yeah, a towel. It didn't come out of my bank account. That's the end of like it. That. Oh, your glasses. The, the table didn't come out of my bank account. Wow, wow that was such away. great no, content, man. Glasses. Thanks for the fucking read. <laughs> have we even discussed much? No, I don't think we have. I don't think we've gone over many topics. Hey, Matt. What was it like working with Finn Wolfhard? All right, Matt. As a drunk individual, and think this is going to make the main cut, so you need to explain what it was like working with Finn Wolfhard and Finn. how it happened. Before I answer this, even off camera. Here I'm we go. Very, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yes. No, bro, his beard smells like. I mean, please. Come on. <laughs> 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 the guys. Oh. What were we saying before this? Finn Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard. Sorry, sorry. Prezzo. Would you be able to bring him back in here? So Finn first is first interaction. First interaction with Finn Wolfhard. He came to be on a Game Grumps episode. Oh, you poached him. No, that is he... actually how it works. He came in, did a Game Grumps guest, little guest Grumps episode, and then we all took pictures with him. And then he liked Super Mega. It was like I so love Super Mega. Matt. 
a lot. When when I was coming to Australia, Finn told me he was like, "Hey, Max, like I love Max." Tell him I said, "Hey." He said, right, hey thanks, wait, did he say anything about me? No, he, he said, "Fuck that guy. He just likes my tweets. Doesn't say anything." He said, "He said Chad." You know, Chad's racist. He. <laughs> <laughs> Finn, Finn Wolfhard is a super cool kid, and uh, we worked for Game Grumps, and he was like, "I like you guys." We did a video with him. Stop! He's trying to actually do something. Yeah, keep talking. I just You're all to... fucked in the head. Can I have this? Yeah, you can. Oh. Don't film me. I tell me you see damage. This will affect my stock in the future. Uh, I'll take care of you, man. I'll take please. care of you, bro. I reckon this is the end, bro. Scott, do you reckon we have enough footage for at least an hour of content? All right. Um, Bream. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Cold Ones. This is very. We already did an outro. This is the second. No, I did the no, Wait, yeah. no, we did the intro. We did the intro. <laughs> about the outro. I got this. You're breaking the table, man. I'm not. Oh! I got this one. I got this one. Uh, Thank you for joining us for Cold Ones. Um, this is probably the most cut down episode we've ever had. So if you want to see the uncensored, I'm footage, sorry. I'll leak it on the internet eventually. Patreon. No, yeah. bro. Patreon. Promotion. For no, Patreon. no, it's not for Patreon. He said so many fuck shit. We he says the n word in the Patreon version. <laughs> Pledge. If you want to expose him. Thanks for joining us, Matt and Ryan from Super Mega. Oh, we Oper, have shots. Oper. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the shots? No, bro. You're cut off, man. <laughs> we'll do the shots that got lined up for us at the start of the episode. Yeah, pass me one. Hey, um, I just want to thank everyone for joining us for cold ones. Oh! Oh. Man. People are going to think this is a skit. <laughs> He's actually dying. It's, it's not a skit. It's been great having you guys here in Australia. Thank you for having us. I mean, Had a good time. You know what? Honestly, like, you cooked us kangaroo. You took us out camping. You... Flow us over here. We killed Flow us over here. Sorry, grammar's a bit fucked because I'm a bit intoxicated. Thank you guys for having us out here. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, bro. Got it. <laughs> so fucky. You can also get the clips, the special clips from this show if you want to consume them in um, not Shell. such a big right. length. We have the Clips channel. It's Cold Ones Clips. Cold Ones Clips. Link below also. It's clipping. Oh. Maybe, maybe you get... <laughs> We are across from a school. What the is? You guys oh. are so fucked. This has been the most intoxicated episode we've ever had, man. I never thought I'd say that I'm proud of you to have not done the worst. Oh. I'd like to say that it's I... I, 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 I oh, not the whiteboard, bro. That's where we count our stocks in Bitcoin, you idiot. Oh, these titties are... <laughs> me, man. I'm going ahead of that box. I'm guessing it's done. All right, let me go. Oh, no, 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 Max. Hey! And now it's done. I'm definitely heading out, man. I'm going to piss. Help me, someone.